Hey, what's up guys? This is a pretty simple project this week. I really needed a pair of shop stools, so that's what I made. The nice thing about this project is it's kind of a scrap bin project. You can use whatever plywood you have hanging around the shop. I ended up using my old outfeed table and I designed the stools so when they're stacked up, they'll fit underneath my new outfeed table. If you want to build this project, I will have free plans that you can find on my site. The first step in every project for me is to create a cut list. And once I have a cut list, then usually the first step is to rip all of the parts to width using the table saw. The next step is to cut the parts to length and you can either use the miter saw or in this case I'm using a cross cut sled on the table saw. With all the parts cut to size, I'll move on to the next step, and this is drilling finger holes in the tops of the stools. And whenever I'm drilling larger holes like this, I like to set the clutch at medium or a little bit higher. And that way, in case the drill bit catches, instead of the drill twisting and possibly hurting my wrist, the clutch will just engage, and that's the sound you're hearing. I'm using pocket holes to build the stool. You don't have to use pocket holes. You could just drill through the three quarter inch plywood. I think the pocket holes make it a little bit of an easier project. And I'm making sure to drill all the pocket holes that I need. So there's pocket holes for attaching the bracing to the leg. And then there's pocket holes for attaching the bracing and the leg to the bottom of the stool. Here I'm using a spacer and a few clamps to inset the leg three quarters of an inch. Okay, so now that I've finished assembling the base, I'll attach the whole assembly to the bottom of the stool with eight inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. Well, like I said, just a simple project this week, but definitely a useful project. I've already used these stools a ton. I think you'll see a lot of them in upcoming videos and I think if you make these you'll be surprised at just how much you use them. And also it's a fun project. This is one of those things where you can get out in the shop and you can bang these out in maybe two hours. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Okay well I'm back. I wanted to take a minute and tell you about my new channel. A lot of you may know about it already. I'm calling it the John Peters Art Channel. And on that channel, there'll be a variety of subjects, everything from project follow-ups, for instance, if you want to see how I plant the planter I just built and what it looks like after it's planted, that's something that would go on the new John Peters Art Channel. There'll also be beekeeping videos. All the new beekeeping videos will be posted on that channel, along with the food shows and, of course, art videos. I'll get into everything from painting to welded steel sculpture. I have a plan to post a video on introduction to oxyacetylene welding. So that's something, if you're not into art, you might want to know about the oxyacetylene welding. The idea with the new channel is to make the main channel very streamlined and really focused on home improvement, woodworking, and uh, furniture building. So I hope that you'll check out the new channel, and if you do, 
I hope you subscribe. And if you, if you do subscribe, hit that little button and that will remind you, or that little bell, and that will remind you each time I post a new video. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.